abandoned mine, railroad detectives are waiting to trap Frank Stratton, an escaped convict, whom they believe to be the mysterious criminal known as the Wrecker. Stratton has been captured by agents of the Wrecker, who wish to make him reveal the hiding place of a valuable gold shipment that was stolen from the Hurricane Express. Meanwhile, Stratton's daughter, Gloria, is racing to his rescue, accompanied by Larry Baker, whose father was murdered by the Wrecker. That's the Wrecker's gang, all right. Just as I thought. Stratton's in with him. Hands up. Don't move. You're covered. Under cover, man. Matthews and Hemingway must have surprised the Wreckers gang. Get under cover and wait for me. Watch your chance and slip off to Going back to jail where you belong. Oh, Gloria. Oh, thank heaven you're safe. My father isn't guilty. Your father, eh? He escaped from prison in order to prove his innocence. Yeah? And I suppose that's why he killed Carlson and stole the gold from the Hurricane Express. No. I took it to force the railroad to produce the evidence which I know was suppressed at my trial. And I can prove that my father wasn't here in the office when Carlson was shot. And we can prove you've been using your position as Mr. Edwards' secretary to get inside information to help an escaped convict. Mr. Edwards has asked me to tell you that you needn't come back anymore. I'm sorry, Jory, that you have been forced into this dreadful situation. That's all right, Dad. Don't lose faith. I'll get the evidence to clear your name. Let's be on our way. the gold shipment that was stolen from the Hurricane Express. Now the Wreckers gang are after it. So put it in your safe and safe and notify headquarters. Quick. Did you know them locks had been tampered with and the box is open? Pieces of iron have been substituted for the gold. Well, it won't take that gang long to find me here. Now, if they try to hold you up, don't offer any resistance. Help me out with these boxes. When they get their hands on this, they'll lead us right to the record. Must have taken the side road. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, let's try. He's 
running over the goal to the station agent. This is going to be a spin. Hello to Mr. Carl when I telephone the boss. Yes? You've got it at last. Good. Now listen, keep away from the old meeting place. Bring us to 27 Main Street. I'll be there at 8 o'clock tonight. Okay. Don't make a sound. I'm going to keep your date with the record tonight. And in the meantime, Bob, turn these men over to the crew of the first train that comes through. It'll be the last. I'll flag the first passenger train that comes along. It's due in a couple of hours. Stephen, if we don't stop these mysterious attacks on the railroad, the stockholders are going to demand a change of management. Well, why not change our detectives, Matthews and Hemingway? They're making no progress towards capturing the wrecker. It's hardly their fault. No, we're up against a mastermind. Only a super criminal could have thought of using those lifelike masks the wrecker wears to impersonate me and others. I tell you, the wrecker is Walter Gray of the air transport line. Our loss is his game. I don't think so. I'd sooner suspect Jordan or Stratton. Well, Jordan, <laughs> did you get your job back? I had a talk with Mr. Stevens. He's willing to give me another chance. But Edwards turned me down. If anything happened to Edwards, Stevens would take his place as general manager of the road, wouldn't he? Stevens is for you. Yeah. Jordan, it's absolutely essential that you be reinstated as engineer of the Hurricane Express. Well, I hope you're right. But you'll find the record is a more important man than Jordan. Yes, Miss Redwood, that new type passenger engine is at the shop waiting for your inspection. Can you come down now? I'll be right down there. That checks, Bob. See that it gets out in 12 days, will you? Well, hello, H.L. What brings you down here? Why, didn't you telephone me that the new passenger engine had just arrived? No. You know we didn't expect that engine until next month. 
That rope's cut deliberately. Somebody called you down here to kill you. Telephone the detective bureau and get Matthews down here at once. All right. Stratton. I told you I'd get him. Did you get the gold, too? No, but I'll get it. Matthews, Mr. Edwards wants to see you in the shop right away. I'm sorry this had to be, Stratton. You've always been my friend, Stevens. You believe I'm innocent, don't you? I wish I could. But the evidence against you was too conclusive. But there was evidence that would have cleared me if Edwards had suppressed it. But I lived to see the dead. Well, this sort of talk won't help you. Sit down. The talk is over quietly. There's no doubt that this was another attempt on your life, Mr. Edwards. Have you any idea who might have done it? There's only one man who hates me. Frank Stratton. Wasn't Stratton. We just captured him out at the old mine. What? You got Stratton? Yes, he's up in my office now. I thought you'd like to question him. I certainly would. Hemingway with the paperweight. They took his gun and held me up. I must have taken the key to the handcuffs from poor Hemi. They can't be very far away. Oh. Oh, give me a drink of water, will you? Time's up. Now don't forget, Matthews. If you hear a shot, close right in on us. Now for Mr. Wrecker. Emmy, the north side. Right. Stand. Dick, the south side. Now on your toes, boys.
Hands up. I've got you covered. No, you haven't dropped that gun, Baker. Can't see me, eh? Well, that's too bad. What did you do with the gold bars you took from my men today? Prized you, eh? Didn't think I was expecting you. Something must have gone wrong. Well, I am not going to wait any longer. The record's not going to get away from me this time. For the last time, what did you do with that gold? Oh, go ahead and shoot. That's the signal the detectives are waiting for. Oh, it kind of worries you, eh? Larry Baker. The man we met in the hall was the wrecker, wearing a mask. 